naturally beautiful, naturally beautiful, naturally beautiful, naturally beautiful, naturally beautiful, naturally beautiful. Hi YouTube family, it's your girl Love Kisses 99 and I'm coming to you today with a hair review. Now the wig that I'm wearing is a wig that I made myself and it's from her hair company hair. This is the straight Brazilian hair. I have been a fan of her hair company for years. I absolutely love this hair. It lasts me a long time and I like to make my wigs out of hair that I know is not going to give me an issue. So I love making wigs out of the hair from her hair company. But this is how it came packaged. And I have a little bit left over here. Now I have in a 14 inch frontal with bundles in the lengths 14, 16, 18, and 20. I like to get the lengths a little bit you know different I don't like to work with the same length because when I work with different lengths I can just kind of construct my wig and not really have to worry much about having to cut the hair because I really don't like to have to cut beautiful beautiful hair. So yeah I decided this time that what I was going to do is show you how I make my wigs and it was no better time than while I'm trying to make this wig I said let me just go ahead and use the hair from her hair company along with the frontal. It was super easy to construct. I I've kind of gotten used to making my wig so it didn't really give me a problem but this hair is absolutely gorgeous it's gorgeous Brazilian hair I love how it flows I love how it has movement and the graduated lengths really does help with that like as far as the movement is concerned so what I did is I did a video showing you how I make my wigs from start to finish so that you would be able to check that out and also I'm gonna come back when I do my update and show you how I do my perimeter tweezing just to give the wig a more natural look but I really love the way this hair flows and it does have some natural baby hair around the front. It's a little bit longer so you really can customize it if you want. I'm not one big on baby hair because I kind of feel like I'm too old for baby hair or like a lot of it. So I kind of just put my wig together and I just wear it like this. Now I did pop a few curls in it and I use my inexpensive curling iron from... Hot Shot Tools. I think I got this from either Walgreens or somewhere like that. And I don't think it was even 30 bucks. I think it was closer to 20. So yeah, I don't like to have to use too much heat on the hair. So these curls are gonna hold. And I did use a holding spray. I'm kind of looking around for it. And here it is. This is the Be Strong Finish. And this is a firm hold hairspray. And this is from Bumble and Bumble. I used to use a lot of their products on my curly hair, but they have a full line of products for all different types of hair, straight, curly, wavy, and I've been using this for a minute. It might be time to get another little can of this spray. So stay tuned for the footage of how I make my wigs along with some still pictures at the end. And if you have any comments or suggestions or any input please feel free to leave it right down in the comments area and please don't forget rate comment and subscribe and when you go to my channel hit that little bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos and that's pretty much it for right now stay tuned for that footage and the still pics and I'll see you guys again later bye so we're gonna go ahead and get started and here's the frontal and I'm just attaching the frontal to the cap that I use to make my wigs. I love using T-pins because it helps me to get that frontal to lay nice and flat. It also helps with my bundles as well. <clears throat> so now I'm just turning it around and I'm going to put some more T-pins across the back just again so that we'll have that frontal laying nice and flat. This makes it so much easier when I'm sewing using the um, the head form, which is measured to the size of my head. So the wig comes out pretty much perfect when I use this wig, this wig form. 
and I'm going on around and I'm putting in a few T pins. I am going to put that little hair from the cloak from the frontal in a little twisty tie thing just so I can get it out of the way. And use as many T pins as you need just to make sure that you're getting that frontal to lay nice and flat. And now it's easy. We have that little curved needle and I'm just going to start sewing the needle and the thread I picked up from Sally Beauty Supply and I just loop it through as I'm sewing all the way around. I did speed this part up because I'm sure you guys have seen this done before but I like I said I like using the t-pins because that way the frontal is nice and flat I don't have to worry about it buckling or anything like that and it fits perfectly for me And the thread again is available at Sally Beauty Supply and I'm sure you can find weaving thread at your local beauty supply store. They really do have it everywhere as well as the curved needles. And I did decide to speed it up just a little bit faster only because I'm doing the same thing as I go all the way around that frontal. I'm just sewing and looping that thread through just so I get a nice tight and smooth stitch. And then that's what it looks like all the way around. It's very simple, very easy. So now we're going to go ahead and attach the first bundle of hair. And these bundles are sewn so well and nice and tight, but not so tight that you can't either sew around them or through them. I know sometimes sewing into the weft of hair can make it a little bit what's the word I'm trying to find it can make it a little harder but I already went here and I attached that hair the first row from the bundle with a with my T pins and then I'm just gonna go around and sew this from ear to ear and coming up I do show you how I do my quick flip over method And I do try to keep the stitches close and tight only because that way you don't have that wavy type of effect when you're done with your wig. I keep it nice and flat and just sew and make sure that it's tight. And as you see with the T-pins, the hair doesn't move around so much. It stays put as I'm sewing. And I'm just sewing away, sewing those tracks onto the wig cap. And these are the Q-Fit caps. They work really well because they have a tendency to fit well. Some people use an extra large, but I just use the standard one. And right there is where I flip the hair over and you'll be able to see that coming up. So you see how nice and flat that is. And here is where I just flip the hair over. And then I start sewing back across. And there's my next bundle. And here's how I flip it over. I flip it over, I push in a T-pin, and then I just start sewing all over again. And I make sure when I'm sewing my bundles on, I make sure that they meet the back part of the frontal so that there's no gaps in between.
and I kept sewing side to side, flipping it over, and here's the next bundle that's going to be put at the top because we're going to fill in all of that space right up to the frontal, the edge of the frontal. And here is where we're going to do the fill in. This is the last track that's going to go at the top that's going to go between the last row and bundle to the frontal and it goes right up. I make sure it's nice and even with the edge of the frontal. See, I just push it up a little bit and then I finish sewing it on side to side. And the two tracks at the top, I normally cut those. I don't flip those over because I like those nice and flat. So I'll cut it and then the last two tracks at the top where the frontal is going to get closed in with the bundle with the weft is where I just sew and I cut that part. I hope I'm not confusing you, but if you, if I am, please feel free to ask me anything you need to ask me right down in the comments area. And there's that last track of hair getting sewn on. I tried my best to keep my hands out of the way so you could see what I was doing. And we're actually almost done. So as you can see, it's nice and flat. I'm gonna just cut that thread right there and we are done with making the wig. I have to cut that piece of the track off. All I could find at the time were my giant pinking shears, so I went ahead and used those. And there we have the wig, we're all done. And that little area right there underneath where the frontal is, that part of the cap gets cut off. I think I edited it out by mistake and deleted that air, that part of the video. But yeah, that little piece right there at the top underneath the frontal gets cut off. Yep, that part right there, we just cut that off and we're pretty much done. And now this is how I tweeze out a little hair where I want my part. And I put a white paper towel underneath that area so that you could see it pretty well. You could see that it's going to give me a really good part. Now what I can do is come back and show you how I can bleach the closure. I just decided to do this with makeup this time. I just applied a little bit of makeup into my part on the un underside. I did do that in another video, but yeah, there is where you're able to see the part. The knots are concealed. I just applied a little bit of powder foundation right underneath that area. So now we're pretty much done and here are some still pictures. And again, if you have any questions or anything that I can help you with, please feel free to leave it down in the comments area and I'll be sure to come back and help as much as I can. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.